Well, it was breaking news on 12 News this morning. A Scottish court has ruled that a man who goes by the name Arthur Knight is actually a Rhode Island man who faked his own death and is wanted on rape charges. 12 News reporter Dana Casulo is live in the studio with new information from this court hearing. Kate Nicholas Oliverdian, also known as Nicholas Rossi, claimed to have been the victim of mistaken identity and insisted his name was Arthur Knight. A court in Scotland ruled that evidence showed that was not the truth. The person appearing before me is Nicholas Rossi, the person whose extradition is requested by the United States. 35 year old Nicholas Aliverdian was arrested last year after checking himself into a Scotland hospital with COVID 19 symptoms. He has consistently denied that he's Aliverdian, who's also gone by the name Nicholas Rossi and other names. It seems to me highly suspicious that the change of names went through a number of, number of permutations. That seems to me consistent with someone who is hiding from something, from someone. In July, Knight was arrested again, and prosecutors matched his fingerprints to Aliverdian's. Friday, prosecutors of the Scottish court revealed they were able to tell he was Aliverdian after matching the tattoos on his arm. I am ultimately satisfied on the balance of probabilities. By the evidence of fingerprint, photographic and tattoo evidence taken together, supported by the evidence of changes of name. Aliverdian is accused of raping two women in Utah and sexually assaulting another in 2008. And today's ruling does not guarantee Oliverdian will be returned to the U.S. The court now moves to the formal extradition process with a full hearing expected in March. Reporting live in the studio, Dana Casulo, 12 News.